diabetes and kidney damage, nor modern and creating levels. Research results indicate that diabetes is the leading cause of chronic kidney disease. Final stage of kidney disease is kidney failure and is known as nephropathy. According to the Centers for Disease Control, over 17 million Americans have diabetes. Unfortunately, one third of them do not even realize that they have the disease. Approximately 45% of patients suffering from chronic kidney disease have diabetes as the major reason for this dreadful disease. Once the kidneys are damaged and unable to perform their filtration of impurities from blood, there is no recourse to medicinal cure. The available options are dialysis or kidney transplant, where the donor and recipient have to undergo major surgery. The only heartening factor is that kidney failure does not happen quickly after onset of the diabetes, but can sometimes take at least 5 to 7 years or longer. There are early and later indications to suggest that kidney function is deteriorating. There are effective remedial actions to slow down the pace of deterioration and maintain the kidney functions. Both type 1 and type 2 diabetics are likely to suffer from kidney disease slash failure, but it is more in the case of type 1. The symptoms of type 1 diabetes is diagnosed early and treatment plans could be taken early. Unfortunately, type 2 diabetes goes often undiagnosed for years, because the early symptoms are not pronounced. By the time it is diagnosed, there are irrevocable damages done and the chances for kidney damages increase. Link between diabetes and kidney disease, diabetes damages small blood vessels in the body. When the blood vessels in kidney are injured, kidneys lose their capacity to filter the impurities from blood properly. Body retains more water, salt and this results in increase in weight and swelling in the ankles. Urine contains protein. Waste materials start building up in the blood. Besides, diabetes damage nerves in the body. This causes difficulty in emptying bladder. There is a backup pressure from the stored urine in the bladder, damaging the kidneys. Moreover, the stored urine in bladder causes infection. The course of kidney disease. The kidney disease takes a longer time leading to kidney failure. Initially, small amounts of protein slash albumin leaks into the urine. The filtration function of kidney remains normal during this period. As time passes, more albumin leaks into urine. This stage is known as overt diabetic nephropathy or macroalbuminuria. After this stage, filtration begins to drop. Body retains various wastes as filtration drops. Creating in is one such waste and blood test for creating in is used to estimate decline in kidney function. As the damage develops, blood pressure also rises. There are early and later symptoms of kidney damage which are enumerated below. Early symptoms 1. Presence of albumin in urine 2. Weight gain and swelling in the ankles, cramps 3. Frequent urination, especially during night 4. Rise in blood pressure. Later symptoms. 1. High level of bun and creating in in blood 2. Less need for insulin or anti-diabetic medications due to slowdown of kidney and breaking down insulin 3. Morning sickness, nausea and vomiting 4. Weakness, paleness and anemia 5 lower blood count 6 loss of appetite increasing tiredness itching muscle cramps what are the methods of preventing kidney damage good control of diabetes lowers risk of having severe kidney disease 
blood pressure and urine albumin excretion to be checked every year. Ensure enough sleep for Regular exercise, followed up with 45 minutes of brisk walk. Avoiding alcohol, smoking 6. Ensure treatment for urine retract infections, without delay. If you are a diabetic, then the following might help in reducing blood sugars. Change the dietary habits to reduce intake of sugar and carbohydrates and increase intake of fiber and vitamins. B. Enough physical exercise, which should include fast walking. Divide intake of food into smaller portions at regular intervals. D. Avoid salt which increases blood pressure and aggravates problems of diabetes. E. Intake of magnesium helping in production of insulin. F. Juice of bitter melon, taken in empty stomach, helps in a great way to control diabetes and reduces blood sugar. G. Other nutrients, zinc, vitamin B complex and vitamin C which are good in control in blood sugar. Intake of fenugreek with milk which reduces blood sugar and controls diabetes. I. Consumption of gemon fruit and powdered gemon seeds. J. Consumption of garlic will reduce diabetes. K. Soak tender nem leaves and tulsa leaves in water for 10 minutes and drink. It controls blood sugar. L. Spinach and cereal fiber help in control in diabetes.